Here are three hidden tips for your MacBook that you had no idea about. If you press the option key while clicking on the date and time in the corner of your Mac, it automatically puts your MacBook in Do Not Disturb. If an application won't close or is crashed, you can simply right click on the open application and press the option key for the force quit option to show up in the menu. Lastly, if you click and drag any file or folder on your MacBook while holding Option, it duplicates instead of moving it. If you like these tips, follow for more. Here's a new MacBook productivity hack I bet you had no idea about. Start by opening the Notes app on your Mac and then typing something out in a new note. Highlight the text and then select this icon in the top corner. You'll see this menu pop up and you can select what you want to do with your text. Apple Intelligence will analyze the text and then decide how to rewrite your copy based on what you said. You can make your writing more professional, turn it into lists, or make it more concise. You can even summarize the text in the corner if you want. You can even access these features outside of the Notes app by copying and then right-clicking and finding writing tools in the menu bar. Select writing tools and then you're given the same options and you can edit emails to make them more professional or friendly. Try it out and let me know what you think of this new feature. Here are four MacBook productivity hacks I bet you had no idea about. First, swipe up on your trackpad with four fingers. Drag your cursor to the top, and if you have two full screen windows open, just drag them on top of each other to enter split screen mode. You can easily adjust the size of the two windows by clicking this middle bar and dragging to the left and right. Or if you double click the bar, it goes instantly back to center. Lastly, you can switch the sides of the applications by clicking and dragging at the top. Follow for more tips. You're probably using your MacBook all wrong. Here's a feature that I use every day that saves me time. Instead of opening your launch pad and scrolling through apps to look for what you want to open like this, press command and then spacebar on your keyboard to open the spotlight search. Start typing the name of the app that you want to open and then press enter and it automatically opens for you without having to search through the list of apps. Once you get in the habit of doing this, it becomes easier and easier. Be sure to sign up for my email list with weekly MacBook tips like this to make your life easier. Here's a MacBook hack I bet you had no idea about. If you open Control Center, you can drag and drop any element from here into your menu bar for quicker access. If you press and hold Command while dragging items on your menu bar, you can reorganize them. And if you keep holding Command while dragging an item fully off the menu bar, it'll completely remove it. Here are three hacks I use to stay focused during my work week. Firstly, I set a focus mode in my MacBook to make sure that only the important things are being shown to me in notifications. This feature has been available for a long time, but you probably haven't set it up, so give it a shot. You can hand select which apps you want to show you notifications, set a schedule for it to turn on and off, and even decide who you want notifications to come from while you're working. Next is to get rid of distractions from my cell phone. I like to put it in a different room or put it somewhere where I can't reach it. I use the Stolp phone box, which is designed designed specifically to keep my phone away from me and remove distractions. And lastly, while I'm working, it's distracting to have too many tabs open in my different browsers, so I like to close out all my tabs and start fresh. And if I ever need to go back to a previous tab, I just push Command-Shift-T and it takes me right back to all the tabs that I just closed.